Hey YouTubers, today I'm taking a look at two small DSLR camera bags uh, by Case Logic. There's two different models here. These are minimalist bags, so they're meant to hold the camera. There's some pockets for other things, but not a whole hell of a lot more. Uh, I was looking for something uh, very small, nothing unnecessarily large, to hold a Panasonic FZ1000 bridge camera. Um, the camera itself, just to give you an idea, if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll take a look at each, each one of these bags separately, but the, this is the camera I will be using to test it, and it measures uh, 5.4 inches wide, so the actual width of the camera, 5.4, from the front of the lens to the back is 5 and a quarter inches, and the height from the bottom of the camera to the top of the hot shoe is roughly 3.9 inches so if you don't have this camera if you have something else and you're wondering if that'll fit this will give you some idea if it'll fit in the bag you can see how much room is in either one and compensate given the size of your camera so you can use it as a guide I mean this is a chunky camera for a bridge camera so I, I feel it's a good model to test anyway so anyway let's get on to the two models the first one I'm gonna move this off to the side First one I have here is the SLR C200. Um, the first thing I noticed about this is it's kind of got a rigid bottom. It, it does bend, but it feels like a hard plastic with a kind of a rubberized plasticky coating on it, um, which will allow it to stand up on its own. It's not very flimsy. I do like that. Um, there's a case logic badge on here showing the camera. The cameras in these bags, uh, they go in face down, lens first, I should say, uh, lens first. And let me open up the main zipper, see if you can get a, a good idea. The zipper seems fairly sturdy, actually. It's not uh, not very flimsy, I like that. Um, opens from the top, now there's a strap in here for the bag, that's good. This one doesn't appear to have a belt loop, I don't know, I mean it's kind of big to carry on your belt, but not that big. I could see it happening. Uh, they don't have one on this one. I believe the other one does. Anyway, you'll find an orange padded. It's padded on each side. Mm, it's padding. Not not a ton, but I think it's enough to probably do the job. I mean, you're not going to be throwing this around. The top has uh, has like a, a memory foam almost type padding in it. The whole thing is like that um, water resistant nylon outside. The front has another pocket. Uh, which certainly would be deep enough, deep enough to hold a battery charger, some spare batteries, cables. Um, I think it's a perfect size. It's useful. Uh, rather than just a slot, you can definitely put something in here, a couple of batteries and so on. So that seems useful. It's the only pocket on here. So it's a short menu. It's basically the camera. Let's see how the camera fits in. Let's see if I try putting it in this way. So face down. And it's snug right to the side, but fits, seems to fit pretty well, actually. Not a lot of room to spare. There is some room on top, but doesn't swim around in there, so not a bad fit. Um, the camera itself is, uh, I think, like 1.9 pounds, so uh, overall not bad. There's these two little nylon handles on the side. I guess the uh, the strap would go on those. Nice bag overall. Again, small. I mean, it's not... I didn't want to get something big. I purposely... How big is this exactly? I was going to say. Something like um, 7 and an eighth wide. It's about 8 inches tall. You know, from the back to the front of the pockets, maybe 7 inches. So, like I said, it's a minimalist bag. And you're not going to put a ton of things in here. But... You could definitely fit a phone in here and a camera and be on your way without too much luggage. So, quick look at this bag. The handle is uh, padded, nice and comfortable. Overall, seems uh, pretty sturdy for the price. I think this bag was only like uh, $18 or something like that. $17 or $18. So, not bad. Uh, like it overall. Let's take a look at the other one. This is the DCB306. Uh, also, Case Logic. Uh, this is definitely a softer, it's also that water resistant type nylon, but it feels definitely softer, less rigid. Uh, even the padding inside must be rigid. It has a nylon bottom, 
not the pet, not the hard bottom like the other one has. So this is a more, I guess, traditional type of bag that you see from other companies. Um, definitely a more flimsy handle. Zipper also good. Uh, zips definitely has more room inside. Again, they attach a, uh, a strap. Without a doubt, more room inside. Padding is definitely looser. The other one has a more solid padding, and this is definitely softer. I mean, you can see how mushy the bag is compared to the other one. It's got a little hidden zipper, which I just found right here. Very sneaky, very sneaky. Um, can fit some things in here, but again, I don't know. Well, I guess you could fit a charger in here, but it would bulk it out a bit. And um, I'd put probably memory cards and maybe a cable or something in there. This one does have a belt strap on the back for those interested. Um, also, last but not least, you got a pocket on this side and a second pocket here. So that would be perfect for a cell phone. Even today's uh, phablet phones, including my beloved Samsung Galaxy Note 3, by the way, would fit nicely in those. Um, so more pockets. The other one's got one. But this has a hidden pocket, one on either side, so have three pockets. Definitely a more spacious interior. Let's see how the camera fits in here. Again, face down. Wow, much more room. This goes in loose as a goose. And I could, I, I don't know, actually, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, you know, it depends on the size. If you had a slightly larger DSLR, maybe like uh, the Canon Rebels or something, or maybe something slightly larger than what I had mentioned. Um, it would probably still fit in here because like I said, there's plenty of room. I want to just close the zipper and see how, see how it swashbuckles around in there, if that's a, a big deal to anybody. But yes, it definitely does. Um, it'll rumble and tumble in the bag for sure. So if you have a bigger camera, you could probably still fit it in here. Um, this has plenty of room. So if your measurements are Bigger than mine, not, I mean, I, I can't imagine any camera unless you have a huge lens on it not fitting in here. So this would probably hold more, a uh, wider range rather of cameras. Again, it's definitely more flimsy, um, has more pockets, so maybe there's a trade-off in there somewhere. Nice looking bag, maybe nicer looking than the other one. Uh, again, this one was very, around the same price, I think they were like $17, $18, so very cheap, very cheap. Um, uh, I'm sure they're not the best quality bags. I'm sure you can spend a ton of money on a bag. I mean, I handle my electronics with care, so you know, generally I don't need Fort Knox, but uh, you know, you still want to protect your investment and your cameras. So, uh, for my money, I'm looking at these two, and why do I have two? I was undecided, to be honest. You know, I saw these online. I didn't know which would fit. That. I didn't have the camera at the time. I didn't know which would fit the camera better. I said, let me pick up both of them, they're cheap. Um, whichever one I don't like, I can return, give away, whatever the case may be. Uh, for my money, I'm gonna stick with this one for my particular camera. I feel like it fits better. Uh, it's snugger. Um, it has only the one pocket in the front, uh, and I'm putting it in sideways. As you can see, it wouldn't even fit in that way. You definitely gotta put it in without question have to put it in face down but I feel like it fits better in here it's more snug the few the few accessories I need would fit in here and no Samsung Galaxy Note 3 along for the ride with this bag because there are no side pockets that's okay that will stay in my jacket okay uh, so I hope you got a better idea of these two bags if you're looking for something small as small as you can get to suit your needs um, these are two bags that seem very good, especially for the price, and I uh, I don't see why I wouldn't recommend either one of these. They uh, they seem to be built pretty good. I like the zippers, and um, they look good too. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.